Security cameras are something I've been sent quite a few of over the past couple years, ever since I reviewed my first D-Link security camera. And I've taken the longest to review them out of most products that I generally get sent. Not because they're super complicated per se, I've been quite surprised as to how easy to use a lot of them that I have been sent are, but because I like figuring out just where I can put it and just how I can make best use of it before I really commit to making a review just because I want to make sure I'm getting the use out of it first before I suggest that you should buy it or something like that. So today I'm reviewing the EasyViz Mini. It is a 720p wireless security camera, but it is super tiny as you can see here. It is very, very small and super ridiculously easy to set up. This is one of those rare instances where I'm gonna actually talk about the unboxing experience because it was quite nice. The packaging was very high quality. It just, despite how little and seemingly like unimpressive the product might seem at first since it's just like, I don't know, you, with security cameras, you expect this really complicated thing. And like I said, the D-Link one, I have turn, has a 360 degree turning. And this other one I have has this big old arm and security shield and all this stuff. This seems very underwhelming at first, but it's actually really cool what it has. But the, but the unboxing experience is actually really, really nice. It's very high quality packaging. You get the wall wart, the camera itself with the attached USB cable, a user's manual, and a one year subscription to their cloud storage service for the recorded video files, which is great to include to make sure that people are actually gonna use it. Otherwise, they may feel they have wasted money buying your product if they then have to spend money on a subscription service. And it overall, I don't know, it, it was just really nice. It was a surprise. I've been sent a lot of cheap packaged products lately. And so it was nice to get something that was relatively fun to unbox. So the camera itself here works pretty cool in some pretty cool ways. It has a, the main, it's all glossy white. So if you're an Apple fan, that's something you may like quite a bit. Um, and it, it's, like I said, it's very small, it's unintrusive, and it does a lot for the small package. It, the base here, the actual camera recording package is packaged in this big white enclosure with a big lens on the front and infra, uh, infrared, it's not really infrared, but like nighttime light indicator an LED indicator for its connectivity to your wireless network, the EasyViz presumably logo, and a tiny little microphone on the front. Over on the left, we get a reset button and a micro SD card slot for storing videos locally. If you're not doing their cloud service or whatever, you will need a micro SD card in here and it has to format it and put its own files on there. I'll touch on how that works in a minute. However, if you just want to have it going and monitor it from your phone, you can still save pictures and videos from your smartphone you know, without this having an SD card slot in it. So again, I'll, I'll show you, I'll touch on that in a minute. A speaker up top. And then like I said, the USB cable is not detachable. It would have been nice if it was. Um, it is just for power, basically. It is quite a good length though. It's probably about four or five feet long. It's, it's fairly nice. And it's, I mean, there's not much to say. It is a USB cable, but the base here is what's really cool. The base is magnetic. So it ha it completely rotates basically like every angle you could possibly imagine. Like it's, it's really cool. It's just got a basic ball joint here, but this entire flat surface is magnetic. So you can stick it up on a metal wall, on a fridge, on a metal pole. I actually had it stuck to my lamp next to my office setup here to keep a monitor on my camera recording whenever I left the house to babysit my dogs and try to keep an eye, or my parents' dogs, and try to keep an eye on my cat, although he was never actually in front of it. Uh, but it, you know, it, it sticks to just about anything. If that's not good enough for you though, in the box you also get some mounting stuff, mounting hardware, some screws, some anchors, and a s adhesive sticky pad to put here instead of the magnets. So you have multiple options for which you get to use. Setup is dead simple. Plug it in, per turn it on, and by the way, you don't need that specific wall wart. That's why they include make it a USB cable in the first place, is you can use it with just about any USB port. Plugged it into my computer, used it, worked fine, even stuck to my computer metal case, of course. Gotta be careful around which computer hardware you put a magnet, but nowadays magnets are pretty safe comparatively to how they used to be. And then I have a little Suoki USB hub, charger hub here for my main recording setup that was mainly plugged in the whole time. Never had any issues. Don't actually have to use their specific wall wart as it does take up a lot of space on the socket. But setup is super easy. You download their app from the app store. It works with iOS and Android and it'll just have you scan the QR code and it will detect it. I'm not 100% sure how it's communicating because it just says put your phone near it and it'll connect. It did not activate, as far as I could tell, NFC or Bluetooth in order to connect to the camera. 
so I don't know what exactly it was sending between the phone and the camera. It may have been NFC, I may have not been observing that. I was mainly looking for, looking out for Bluetooth and that did not activate. But it connects to the camera, you tell it your Wi-Fi network information to connect, uh, the light changes from red to blue, and it will start recording or doing what you wish. You can start or stop recording on the actual smart or on the actual camera itself from your smartphone it does have basically when you tell it to record it's just going to record non-stop until it either runs out of space at which point it still keeps trying to record but doesn't actually record anything or you can put it in sleep mode where it's just not going to record until you turn it back on but then in the smartphone app itself it does have the option to give you or it does give you the option to take pictures and video clips saved directly to your smartphone and what's really cool about that for me or to me is that it doesn't take any time to transfer the clip from the camera to your phone like it since it's already streaming it it's just recording locally to your phone it does take a quality hit though so the basic camera recording to the actual sd card is 720p and it's it, it records to some weird formats it sets up this weird like playlist structure so that it detects all of the footage as one giant file even though they're broken up into very small little files very confusing to try to open up but the video is there and then, and that's at 720p, 7, 1280 by 720. However, when you save it to your smartphone, when you're taking a picture, it is 760, I had to write it down, 768 by 432. Random resolution, but still fairly decent quality for the fact that it takes no time to transfer over to your phone. And it, you know, it's just a live feed. And I did this both from inside the same Wi-Fi network and across the bridge over at my parents' house when I was dog sitting and it transferred just like that lower resolution but no major penalties to that either and it does record audio and video and like i said you can't tell it to take pictures and in the app itself you'll notice you can actually set up up to four of these at once to monitor and basically switch between them like a big security switcher it's fairly impressive and choose which one you're taking video clips from and things like that i i like their app a lot for something like they've made it very basic and very easy to use and yet it has a substantial amount of features compared to most products that are dumbed down like to be very easy to use like i, I was very impressed I, uh, my only complaint is that the video format that it does record to is very confusing to try to import and i'm not 100 percent sure i'm even going how i'm going to import that into my video editor at the moment because like i said it's broken up into a bajillion tiny files that then has a q playlist file that reads it as one giant video and that's what i meant about it recording video even if it runs out of space because i didn't realize at first when i first set it up that it records the entire time once you initially initialize the sd card and so i was skipping to the end of the files and trying to play some of them and it didn't have any video it just was still running because it was still making those files despite not recording any video because it didn't have any space to it i am very very impressed this is a pretty cool product i've taken way too long to review it and i do apologize to those who sent it to me i have full disclosure i didn't do this at the beginning but i will throw on text because I'm doing this for all my videos and it'll be in the description and yada 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 yada. Uh, this was sent to me by a third party free of charge, but no one is watching this review before it goes live. No one's paying for it, anything like that. These opinions are all my own, no sponsors, none, nothing like that. Always got to get those disclosures in there now and I'll hopefully be throwing this video up on Amazon as well if they will actually post my reviews. They've been very slow to actually go live anymore. It's very odd, but that's been my review of the Easy Viz Mini wireless security camera. Well, wireless other than power. As someone, a lot of people criticize that about my D-Link wireless camera review. It's like, it's not wireless if it needs power. It's like, okay, how do you expect it to be powered and how is it going to be reliable if it's a battery that's going to die? Taking video requires a lot of power. I don't know. But, so wireless other than the USB power for... Or US, yeah, other than the USB power. But this has been my review. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech videos. Come check out our Patreon campaign where you can contribute to the channel via a small monthly contribution to help us keep doing what we're doing here. And a lot goes is going on behind the scenes that'll be really cool to show you guys in the coming months. And you'll get early access to all of our videos. If you want slightly earlier access, you can also come watch us over on Vessel. If you like that website, vessel.com slash We're uploading there as well. And otherwise... I'll catch you in the next one.